Hey guys, the unboxing here. This is uh, my first video, and it's going to be the Logitech G45 7.1 surround sound headset. Yeah, let's open this. Um, I got it from UPS literally 10 minutes ago, and I'm so excited. <laughs> That's just the building address. Don't need to see that. Uh, so yeah, my channel's new, uh, I've got quite a few products on the way that I will be putting up, I've got about another six products coming that I will pay for, that completely for that. and I will be placing them up in the next two weeks, which should be very good, because um, they're <laughs> pretty pricey as well. Uh, I'm getting, what I can tell you is that I'm getting the Lifecam Cinema HD and Microsoft Webcam, uh, the two Microsoft Sidewinder X6 keyboards, which I'm not going to review two of them, I'm just going to open the one of them, uh, two Microsoft Sidewinder X8 mouses, and an Xbox controller, which doesn't really need to be unboxed, to be honest. Um, on top of that, I will be doing reviews on all my products. Uh, as you see here, this is the the G35. Uh, retail price around 110 pounds, I believe. And uh, if you wanted to desperately get, I guess you could go on eBay and uh, find a top-rated seller, and surely they would uh, they would do it for much cheaper. So Logitech for the one. Uh, open that. Quite a big box for our heads to it. Uh, it looks pretty snazzy. Uh, it's the 7.1 surround sound. Uh, yeah, just different language. Uh, Dolby Digital. Swappable headband pads. Customizable GT. So um, you've got the customization feature in this to have funny voices with the software that Logitech provides. Uh, that's about it. Uh, to be honest, it is pretty pricey for a headset, but uh, depends if you're using it for what you want. Uh, apparently, it's not good for music, but as people know, it's a game headset, so it's probably most good for Ventrilo and TeamSpeak. So yeah, let's see if we can find. How do we open it? Logitech packaging, not the best. Left with this. Got here the pure gaming. I'm guessing this is just all the software that they provide. Manual. Um, I'll I'll have a full in depth for that <laughs> okay. uh, review and the uh, software itself. Uh, next, we uh, I believe this is the earbuds. Yep. Two earbuds, nothing special there. Uh, and then we come to the actual uh, headset itself. That is USB powered, so um, I'd say that's great. But as you know, USB takes up a lot of CPU. Uh, if you got a good uh, processor, it should be completely fine, no problems whatsoever. But for people that are running on single core processors and really low dual core processors, I wouldn't advise having too many USB hardware functionality on your computer while having these. Uh, it's really nice. It's uh. The software, well, it's really nice. It's leather. 
nice plastic metallic standable. Uh, I think that'd be comfy as it is. It's pretty um, joint up. You don't really understand what it feels like until you actually get it, if that makes sense. Uh, other than that, you've got your three uh, macro keys here. Uh, right there. The volume on down and up. And then you've got your mute button there. There is no functionality on the actual USB, but it seems more like a rope rather than an actual um, wire. It's uh, like the equivalent to a shoelace. That's what it's like. Uh, USB, obviously. And then the mic itself. Uh, the mic bends, you might think. You know, you've seen some other unboxings and uh, people are aggressive with their products. Uh, this is actual really flexible is meant to be like this. Uh, I think that's a great feature to be honest. Uh, other than that, it looks pretty solid. Uh, I think it's a, it looks like a great headset. I will post a later review on it, actually speaking with these so you can get a better analogy of what it's like. Um, other than that, this is my first unboxing video guys and there will be more in the near future. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.